Hello, and welcome back to the cove with more Battletech. We're about to arrive on Weldry for our next story mission. So, I'll let us see what exactly that has in store for us. Now, apparently, we need to talk with uh, someone to see about the war effort. But, apparently, we can take a second as we've landed. So, how about we quickly say, not yet, just in case we have to uh, dash away from the planet. Not that we've had that happen before, but you can never be too safe. So let's have a quick squiz and see what they've got in their store here. Uh, nothing too amazing at this point as far as mechs. Uh, they have a couple of basic weapons, LRMs. Uh, hmm. Mildly better machine gun, maybe? I suppose it wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh... Ooh, a cockpit mod for extra injuries. Yes, we're definitely going to go ahead and buy that. That could be very helpful. New and available. you know what? Extra resolve gain? Sure, why not? We can never have too much of that either. New equipment available. Uh, we also have a couple of exchanges too. Okay. Um, base is 10%. This one's 20. Well, I think, I think we'll pick up both of them. We have the cash for now. Yeah, I think that's worth it. We'll pick those New up. Equipment available. And I think that's pretty good. We'll leave everything else. Uh, we do need... Oh, hang on a second. LBX ammo. Do we have any of that at the moment? I don't think we do. Oh no, we have three. Uh, two and... None. Okay, well, I know we have an LBX-2, so we should probably make sure that there's ammunition for that. We'll pick up a bin, or New maybe two. Alright, I think that's good. As long as we have one of everything, that is... You know what, maybe two of everything. That would be what's uh, ideal, yeah. And we may want one of those as well, so... New equipment available. Go ahead and buy a couple of rounds. In fact, uh... 10 rounds of LB-20X ammo bin. Um, you know, we'll buy a couple more. 15 rounds should available. be reasonable, assuming we've only got one. Uh, yeah, okay. So, either way, uh, now that we've got that sorted, let's go ahead. Now, I did see between episodes, uh, thank you, Redick, for pointing this out. I did install those medium lasers on a Highlander. However... It did not appear to be our regular Highlander. So, if we uh, just quickly check it out. Yes, we have medium lasers there. The Gauss Raff was still all in its original configuration. Nothing there has been messed with. But, on our other Highlander, that is also the uh, nice one, we don't have any regular medium lasers and we are full up. So, it's not really too big of a deal. Uh, we'll come back and deal with that at some point. Although... Hmm, LRM-15. You know what? How about we check this out for two seconds? Hmm. Uh, that takes seven tons and three. I wonder if breaking that down from an LRM-10 to a five and a ten would be better. Well, the heat would remain the same. More or less. Okay, there'd be one difference in a heat. Oh, sorry, two difference. That'd be fine. Uh, but we'd have... What is this? Five tons, two tons, so that's seven in total. Yeah, so it more or less equals the exact same thing. Yeah, I was just wondering whether we uh, broke that down to swap it out, if we could have uh, more on there. But I think we'll be fine, so you know what? That's all good. We're gonna... Yeah, do we have any... I could go for a small laser increase. I suppose that wouldn't be the worst thing, would it? No, we might as well go for the extra damage if we have it. So we'll drop those off. We'll pick up what we want. We'll go for the damage and critical. And then... Yeah, more damage and critical. I think that's pretty good. Okay. We'll go ahead and confirm that. Uh, that'll only take a day. So, you know what? We'll go ahead and let that transpire. Alright. Our nest egg is just about gone, Commander. I'm not sure about that. We still have at least a payday and then some. So I think once we take up this contract, we'll be fine. So let's go ahead and launch the contract and see what the go is. 
And I promise you that our forces are maintaining a firm upper hand against this false restoration, thanks in part to the support of our newfound allies in the Torian Concordat. Just today, those allies, led by the heroic Commodore Samuel Austin, liberated my own daughter, Victoria, from insurgent captivity. And though the fight was hard, our new friends won the day through the strength of their courage and the virtue of their purpose. Soon, we will end this war. And when we do, we will turn our attention back to the expansion of our industry and the betterment of our people. Long live the Torian Concordat, and long live the Oregon Directorate! Okay, well, that's unfortunate. They liberated Victoria. That's not good. Okay. Uh, Kamea Arano. Anna Maria, I summoned you here to discuss long-term strategy, but we have a crisis to address. You've seen my uncle's broadcast, what Ostergaard did to Lord Carosa, what his soldiers are still doing to the people of Smithen. I am on a bound to ride to their defense. Mayor, you've got much bigger things to worry about than Smithen. I won't mince words. Your cause is very nearly lost. With only a small fraction of the fleet, of their fleet, the Torians, you, uh, the Torians have you dramatically outgunned, given the chance, and Iberia alone could break your army in two. Oh, sorry, the Iberia. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do we have any answers? I think that's... I think that's worth knowing as to why they're fighting. Maybe an intel advantage could be useful. If you're looking for proof, I can't help you, but I can tell you what uh, what I think is behind all of this. Petition mass the Petition Massacre. Okay. Uh, a chemical attack on the Torian border system of Petition that claimed 11,000 civilian lives. Protector Thomas Cauldron was quick to blame his neighbours and rivals the Federated Sons for the attack. The Petition Manus Massacre is the latest in a long string of diplomatic incidents that have raised tensions between the Federated Sons and the Torian Concordat to a boiling point. Ah, okay. I believe that House Davian's attack on the Concordat created an opportunity for Espinosa, and unfortunately for us, I believe he that he has taken it. No, that's not good. Hmm. Okay, oh, uh, yeah. Let's just make... Ooh, let's make sure we're not missing out. Spell it out. The Protector Col uh, Cauldron believes that Davian, that a Davian invasion of the Torian Concordat is imminent. In the Directorate, he sees a convenient port, and a buffer to protect a poorly defended stretch of the Concordat's border. If the Directorate's weapons have been coming from the Torians, I imagine they've had an agreement in place for some time. Yeah, and that timing makes sense. By arming the Directorate, Cauldron could be fortifying his own border against invasion. When Espinosa learned about Castle Nautilus, he must have used it as a bargaining chip to get the Torians into the war on his side. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, in a limited intervention, but yeah. Yes. Uh, Cauldron could have leapt at the chance to claim an SLDF armory. With a major war imminent, the capture of a fully stocked outpost castle could have provided the Torians with a tremendous advantage. But you destroyed the armory and killed the soldiers and apparently destroyed one of their dropships on Anvelt. I suspect that your problems with Torian Concordat have only just begun. Okay. Um. So we can basically play hide and seek and say if he wants to hurt us, he has to find us. Or. We fought them on Archer. We know what we're up against, so let's talk about how we're going to win this. Yeah, I think we can, we stay focused on what we can control. Alright, not through direct confrontation. If you let Ostergaard bait you into attacking him on Smithen, you will die, as will Lady Arano. This isn't hyperbole, Kamea. You will die if you take the field against him, and your restoration will perish with you. What would you counsel me, counsel, counsel me to do then? Nothing? Would you have me sit on my hands while a Torian butcher murders the people I've sworn to protect? I would advise you to lead your army wisely and to stay out of battles you cannot win. 
Tameo listened to me. There is still hope, but you won't find it on the battlefield. The alliance between the Torians and the Directorate is tenuous, so far, far more so since they have would have you believe. Protector Cauldron knows what kind of man your uncle is. We could turn allies into enemies if we play our cards right. Okay. Um... Yeah, as a long-term goal, I'm all for it, but what do we recommend? In a word, nothing. Do not engage them, just stay away. Even as we speak, my agents are digging for information that will open a rift between our enemies, and I am confident they will find it. Fuck, Mayor? None of this will mean anything if you let Ostergaard goad you into a suicidal charge. And make no mistake, that is what they are doing. I appreciate your advice, Anna Maria, but where I, but were I to follow it, the Augurin people would lose faith in me and they'd be right to do so. I owe it to them to be better than that, and so I will fight, but not in a way that our enemies expect. Okay, tell me what you mean. Ostergaard expects me to deploy my army against his forces on Smithen, to lead from the front, as I have in our battles with the Directorate. You've convinced me that this is a risk I cannot take, and so if he expects me to come at him with a hammer, I will use a scalpel instead. I trust that your company is up to the task of Arthur. Ah, uh, sure, okay. Um. Yeah, my company, alone against the Torian Assault Force, it'd be an adventure, Lady Arano. And uh, that it will, and I'll be guiding you on the comms every step of the way. You'll have my answer, Anna Maria. I won't take the field myself, and I won't redirect my army, but I'll be damned if I let Ostergaard troops slaughter my people without a fight. Your mercenaries have been one of your key advantages in this war, Kamea. By doing this, you're pulling, putting them at grave risk. But if your heart is set on returning to Smith, and I am powerless to stop you. Instead, I'll wish you good luck and take my leave. I'll be in touch when my agents know more, but please, Kamea, stay safe. I don't know if I can stabilize the Reach without you. I won't let, let Ostergaard kill me, Anna Maria. I promise. Ah. Alright, so this is going to be interesting. Lady Arano's contract to repel the Torian assault on Smithen is ready for review. You follow up when ready. Okay, so uh, we'll go ahead and see. Yeah, so that's over in Smithen. Priority mission. We'll get some good pay out of that, but I think while we're here, we should see what we have access to. Now, we don't want pirates yet again. No. Ah, here we go. Alright. So, we're trying to stay on friendly terms with the pirates, but I think we can happily make a, make the Torians even further unhappy. They're never going to be alright with us, so... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, fight against them. We can pick up a good mech and a bit. It's also our first four skull mission, and it is a destroy base. So, I think... I think that's not a bad idea. Now, we're just going to quickly double check before we go anywhere. Uh, what lance would I like to bring, and do we need to do anything about that? I think we'll definitely be bringing the Marauder. Yep, now that that's got all the ER lasers, that is good. Um, a Gauss rifle. Yep, cool. We already have fitted it with the best one possible. Uh, Battlemaster. I have some alright LRM capability as well as the other stuff. Um, maybe, maybe not. I'm not 100% sure there. What have we got there? Archer-wise, we have, yeah, 20 missiles and a little bit of LRMs. Oh, sorry, a little bit of medium lasers. But we do also get that missile re-suite, which is rather good. Uh, that does give us... What is that? That is an extra... Yeah, stability damage as well as LRM clustering, so more likely to uh, have more hit. Hmm. That's fairly comparable. And heat efficiencies for this one is more heat efficient. Uh, heat efficient. Uh, yeah, for now, I think, I think we'll be okay with what we have. I think we should be fine for another destroy mission. 
Yeah, we'll just make sure that our Atlas gets to the front. I think that's, uh, I think that's going to be key. Always good to see you in Ops, Commander. So let's go ahead and leave a mark. Uh, the Taurians, yep, we will take you for all your worth. We will accept. And see what we can do. Alright, so. I reckon, uh... We have multi-target, we have extra initiative. You know what, the extra initiative could be rather nice. Especially uh, over... Yeah, I think we're going to bring Spymaster instead of myself. And he's got some handy skills. Yeah, that should do well. Uh, coolant on the Annihilator, that's good. Although, yeah, no, that should be fairly alright. Marauder and the Atlas, I think that's not too bad. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. We are in Highlands, so we might be moving a little bit slow, but at this point, I think that should be fine. Alright, let us see what we can do. Also, too, uh, we're dropping heavy, heavy tonnage these days. 360 tons? That is not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so our mission briefing. What have we got? Uh, destroy enemy structures and escape. There is a Minotaurian base in this field, and we'd like to remind them that the Urano Restoration is aware of their base, and they should not become complacent. Destroying a handful of the facility structures should send the proper message. The base is likely to be guarded, destroying the units guarding it, and there's a bonus in it for you. Okay. So, pretty much the same thing as last time, but that's not too bad for us. This is going to be a little bit more difficult, which I'm all right with. Assuming, of course, we have a decent spot on the terrain. After all, we do know how that can change things. Especially if their reinforcements come over a cliff or something along those lines. Uh, it's always good to have a clear, clear line on them. Okay. Being fixed defenses powering up, Commander. Turrets are such a pain. Yep. Take them out and start doing some damage. There will be a garrison, so keep your eyes open. Oliveira out. Okay. Time to get paid. So, what do we got? We have... Okay, so it's in the back there. I think what we'll do... Is I think we will swing around. Do we? We could swing around this way, but then... I don't know if we're going to get eyes on. Yeah, I don't know about... Uh, what we have to deal with as far as uh, the Alliance is concerned or their reinforcements. Oh, uh, let's go. Uh, we'll move, you know, we'll move forwards for now. But then I think as we get a little get bit closer, done. we'll rotate to the left and see if that helps. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll stick together for this moment. Uh, we'll go up here. On my way. And we'll get going through there. Okay. Moving to position. So still outside of the sensor range, so we can't get any of the uh ready to get it on. We call it any of the uh turrets if we so Move order received. Uh, found them. Uh the Marauder. Standing by. I think we'll save that for a second. We'll start working our way Moving around. Position. Confirmed. Oh, and we do have enemy contact. Okay, so we have a mech 75 tons. Okay. Well then, I suppose we're going to start getting ready. Let's run Rabid forwards. And the Marauder, we will bring out. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about cover at this point. I copy. We'll wait till next turn when we're in combat. Okay, and they are moving forwards first in a 75. Okay, so they've got some good initiative. Waiting for orders. Uh, Rannick, you can't get any... any line of sight. That is unfortunate. I guess he's just a little bit too far down, but that's not the end of the world. We'll bring you into cover. Uh, yeah, and two evasion is as best as we can do. Roger that. 
All right, maybe we'll see if we can get a sensor lock. You know what? Uh, there's another 70 ton in the back. An ASL turret and a 65 tonner. Okay, you know what? I think we go ahead and we... Instead of bracing, I think we're going to sensor lock and start using some of our... Some of our stuff. So what have we got here? We ha can't do anything with you. Atlas won't do it. The Battle Master, yeah, we might... Might go a full salvo there and start working on the, uh... Start working on that turret and try and get rid of it. We'll see it when we see it. So... Get rid of him while we can do it easily. Got a sensor lock. Alright, so a heavy LRM turret. Okay. Got a lock on me. Uh, that'll be interesting. Ooh. Certainly glad we picked up the cover. That wasn't insignificant. Yeah, 65 tonner. My bet will be that'll be a catapult. Right, heavy LRM turret. We have two LRM 15s and two LRM 10s. Okay, that is... Oh, that is very hefty. And that is a whole 232 hit points. Ready for orders. Okay, uh, Spy Master, we're going to roll you forwards then. Uh, actually, hang on a second. Yeah, we... Uh, start doing some damage. Either that or do we save the UACs. You know what? We don't have a choice. We may as well uh, go ahead and move forwards into cover. Confirmed. Give them something else to shoot at rather than the Marauder. And we will start damaging our pri oh, well, some of the primary defenses. Got it. All right, taking out some of that, that is useful. Yeah, definitely going to be a catapult there. That is not ideal. All right. Oh, no, wait, that was the turret firing. Yeah, okay. Um, Angel, you have not enough range. How might I help? Annihilator, you do. Okay. Um, hmm. You know what? We're going to roll on up as far as we can. Get ready to soak up some damage. And you have a Black Knight. Okay. And you're the one that's going first. Well, realistically, I don't think we should... Uh... What is it? We can guarantee that we take this thing out. Which has a lot of damage. Or we can get to you first who moves at a fairly quick initiative. So he'll have, what's that? Uh, PPC, that'll be 50. Two medium, three, four. That's 160, 210. Ooh, 210 and another four medium lasers. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. In fact, I reckon that's probably more than all of that combined. Yeah, okay, we're going to focus here. We're going to go precision strike. We're going to target him. 17% chance for a headshot. Uh, we have a full barrage ready, so let's go ahead and see if we can get take and get rid of the Black Knight, or at least some of his weapons. Definitely priority number one. Oh, good work there. Good work. Okay. That would be a kill. Even with all that cover, you can't stop that sort of firepower. Ready for orders. Uh, Angel, you are a little far back for my liking. I think we'll go... I think we'll move our way up over here. We should be able to... Yeah, should be able to do... Yeah, we'll get you as close as we can. Alright. Enemy turn. Yeah, that's, uh, maybe I costed the guys up a little bit too much. That's, uh, my System fault there. Building. Okay, everybody. Let's hit them where it hurts. So they'll definitely have another LRM tur turret in the back there. Uh, Ranek, yes, Commander. we can't get you anywhere, but what we can do is... Yeah, I think we reserve. If we reserve, do we get an... Standing by a bonus to our uh, reduction in stability. Uh, we got the damage reduction there, that's good. Master Tactician. Yeah, here we go. Remove one bar of stability damage when reserving. 
Yeah. Uh, since we can't move and get a shot, well, that's what we'll do. Because we don't want you to uh, fall over. That would be bad. Alright, and here comes the catapult. Yep. You know what? Yep. Go ahead and target the annihilator. That's a good idea. That is what we're after. Alright. Good to go. Uh, that now means we have the best of both worlds. There are some pretty good shots from here. You know what? I don't think we can ask for too much more on a catapult. Uh, 70 tons versus this. You've got LRM 20s. I could really deal with not having extra extra targets. Uh, yeah, we want the oh no, there we go. Never mind. We can still access both uh, I kind of wanted to keep Lana Sight on him just so we could fire with somebody else. So, uh, yeah, let's move on up over here. Affirmative. Uh, they have an archer. Okay, so two LRM 20s as well. Okay. That would explain why they've got so much stability damage. Uh, you, of course, though, don't get the extra range small lasers to be targeted against you. So, we're going to go ahead and take out that catapult right out point blank. 35% is fairly good. And lethal damage, that's what we're after. Very nice. Okay, we also see that they have another turret in the middle. Okay. At least we know what we're dealing with. Receiving you. Uh, Spymaster, what do we do here? I think... Hmm. Well, we don't have many options. I suppose we may as well just move on up and fire everything that we've got. We've got really good shots there. Uh, we'll damage something is better than nothing, I suppose. Yeah, that's what we'll go ahead and do. Uh, we'll go ahead and move on forwards. Uh, also, too, if we destroy this guy, they won't be able to just randomly fire upon us. They'll have to... Yeah, they'll have to target us. Uh, or sensor lock us first. Okay, so, question is, for your precision strike, what is the probability? 17%? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mm, it's not amazing. He is in cover. So, that's not exactly uh, beneficial. No, you know what? We're going to go with a regular shot. And then, I don't know, maybe knock him over or something along those lines. We save the result for other things. All right, one head injury, I will take. Yep. They've got a sensor lock and there they go with that sensor locking. They're definitely going to be moving Thanks, ahead Commander. with something else. Uh, Awaiting orders. Oh man, I wish I could get vision on that other Receiving you. turret, but I guess we're not going to. You know what? AC-20s, I think this is what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to pummel... We're going to pummel the archer. Try and take him out. Reporting. Uh... And although we do have really good shots there. You know what? I take it back. We're going to go ahead and uh, take a precision strike with you. We have plenty of damage, even with his uh, damage have mitigation. No it will be done. We should be able to do a bit of something. And we only need two more headshots, I'm fairly sure. Uh, what has he got? Missile resweet. Yeah. yeah. Definitely want to get rid of this. Uh, let's go ahead and fire. Excellent. One more archer out of the way. That is handy. Tango down. All right. So now that they have is their sensor lock, which is not exactly wonderful. Waiting for orders. Uh, but it does mean we're going to start be out, uh, being able to sprint the Atlas forwards. That does help. Bring her forwards. All in ass. Unfortunately, we're still going to take a barrage. All right, and fairly minimal damage that time around. Reporting. Minimal damage. Oh, and we've got some large lasers on another turret. Alrighty. That straight shot was rather annoying. Okay, so. Orders. Rannick, I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to move you. Yeah, we're going to move you all the way over here. Target as many of these turrets as possible. 
take out the uh, ability to sensor lock us to death. Uh, you only need, what's that, 105. I think we might use this as a chance to... Yeah, I think we might use this as a chance just to take this out and cool down the Marauder just a little bit before they bring in any reinforcements. So, what's that, 112? Uh, that only needs, what, 25? That's 120. We'll send in a third one just to be sure. We'll drop the other two so we can cool down a little. Copy that. Alright, structure ex destroyed. That turret is gone. Alright, and uh, Spy Master, we can bring you forwards, I think. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I suppose we go forwards and target it with everything that we've got. Can't target anything else. Yeah, okay, well, we'll move on forwards. Heading out. Uh, we'll do what we can. We'll. Start. Do we start bringing that down? Oh, that's got an AC-20. Not sure if they'll have the... Actually, no, they won't have range if we don't have a uh, direct line of fire. They've only got a fairly... I think it's got a standard um, effective range. It's not as uh, long. So I suppose uh, this will do. Alright, taking out half of that there. That should be fine. Angel. Commander. Uh, nothing there, so we'll go ahead and sprint with That's you again. Or do we go ahead and here we are. Oh no, we can't take out anything other than the buildings. Okay. Well, in that case, we're going to go ahead and sprint her forwards. We're going to, yeah, we're going to position the Atlas in a spot to take all of the damage. We have plenty of armor, so I'm not too concerned Yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, do just that. Unless, of course, we can get ourselves into a better spot for next turn. Uh, which I don't think we will. Alright. Got It, it is no what it is. Just running. Now, I do know they have an AC-20, which is fairly solid damage. Oh. But at least we're distracting them from the Marauder. Minimal damage on that hit. And at the end of the day, the tank has got to tank. Alright, and now we have better range. Okay, here we go. We can even take out that turret in the back there. That's what we're after. Um, you know what? Actually, if we move here, we might be able to do a multi-target. Yeah, we would... We would have the possibility. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's what we're going to do. If we have the, if we have the damage, we'll try and do so. Uh, so first of all, we'll go multi-target on you. We're looking at what's that? 116. We can manage that. So then we'll set you as B. Okay, so 116 is what we need. Uh, UAC two. That is. What's that? That's uh, 84. Plus that, that would be 120. Yeah, let's just make sure that we do have the right amount of damage here. So 116, yeah, three times 40 would be uh, 120 plus the extra. That would be more than enough. Okay, so then we'll send everything else against B. And that should be, what's that, 180. You know what? It may be enough. It may not be. I don't really... Yeah, it'll be very close. Possibly not. Alright. Actually, yes, it will be. The UACs. There we go. That would... Uh... Oh, wait a second. I was looking at the ammo for damage. I have no idea why I was doing that. Uh, yeah, that's still right. That's still the right math. 60... 120. Yeah, so it won't be enough to kill, but it will be enough to weaken. Multiple targets confirmed. So that does uh, do it for me. Alright, almost took out that other one. Yeah, that was taking, well, no shots at all, which is kind of nice. 
Alright, and now we can start destroying some of the uh, buildings. Commander. Right. Ranek, I think... Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and start tearing these buildings down. Uh, we'll move you forwards. I think we'll finish off the uh, heavy laser turret with the um, with Spymaster. So we'll focus you on what? Uh, that's 80, 125. Wait. Uh, yeah, 125. 170. So that'd be a good 200 if we have that enabled. How much health have you got? Just the right amount. Or we could sensor lock the other turret. You know what? No. We're just going to go ahead and destroy this building first. Uh, we'll be fine. Uh, yeah, that should do. Lock on. Enemy structure damage, Commander. Structure down. Okay, well, I'm not seeing anything about reinforcements, so this has actually turned out pretty all right. Uh, so in that case, we're going to just go ahead and move forwards, and instead of destroying these other buildings, we're going to go for all of the turrets, just in case it's a bonus uh, mission objective. All right, so now all that they have is if they decide to sensor lock, which I'm totally okay with. But it does go. not appear that they will get that option. We're going to go ahead and sprint. We're going to try and get vision. Oh. Hang on a second. We have a little red eye that pops up. Does that mean we would see this? Or they would have... Even if we can't see them, they can see us. Hmm. Yes, Commander. You know what? That does concern me slightly, depending on what they've got. They, if they have AC-20s and whatnot. So we'll run you forwards. Moving lightning fast. And then, I, you know what? I reckon we position the... Yes, Commander. We'll position the Atlas in a spot where we won't get vision uh, this turn, but we'll do it on the next one. Got it. I think that seems reasonable. Okay, rough terrain. Not too bad. Uh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and res... You know what? Ready for orders. I will just go ahead and uh, sensor lock. So we'll go forwards. Location confirmed. See what we're dealing with, just in case. Sensors locked on. Yeah, okay. Heavy LRM turret. Yep. And it's even got cover. That is diabolical. Oh well. Standing by. Good news is we can handle that. So let's roll on forwards. We'll send a salvo that way. Alright, that's half of the armor gone. It can't do anything. Receiving you. Angel, let's roll on forwards and see what you can do. Moving to position. AC20, do your thing. I think we uh, dealt with that with extreme prejudice. One left turret. Alright. Rabbit. What's the plan? Uh, what do we go? We'll go for the large military building. Kaboom. Alright, sweet. Well. I believe that. Well done. We wiped Mission out the Ops 4. That is not too bad at all. In fact, uh, that was remarkably easy. I think the last one was just a lot worse because of our uh, positioning and the terrain and the heat and uh, the extra enemies. It's always something to deal with when you're dealing with everything all at once. Right, 116,000. Very nice. Our mercenary review board rating is going up. Everybody is very well off. And now we get to pick up some parts for some mech. So, I suppose we may as well pick up the 75 tons first. So we'll take through there and still take a full mech the question is do we go for the archer or do we go for the catapult oh the decisions honestly i think we'll just go hmm you know we'll put, pick up a full black knight and then some just because it's got the most tonnage and uh start working our way towards selling another one of those 
I don't have any particularly good weapons nor modifications. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll then go with the next highest, which I guess will be that archer. And who knows, maybe they'll even give us a full one uh, in, and uh, save our extra pieces. And then the catapult, yeah, we'll just we'll let that stay behind. All right, and in fact, we did get, yeah, so the full archer, the full black knight, as well as a piece of a catapult. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, a couple of heat sinks and a TTS as well for energy weapons. All righty -o. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So if that's the case, then I think we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll probably sell off what we don't need while we still can, and then we'll probably have to go ahead and fly somewhere else if there's uh, only missions against the pirates. Actually, we should also double check our mercenary review rating that on the board. Ready to fight, Commander. All right. For is cleared for fighting. So those archers are good. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to our... Oh, wait a second. Not navigation. Reputation. That's what we're after. Uh, mercenary review board. Yeah, we're now up at two, four... Uh, four badges. I don't know exactly what they are. Yeah. But that's not bad. Uh, how else are we doing? Yeah, Torians are always unhappy. In fact, they're more unhappy than Capellans. Arts are doing reasonably well. Yeah, we've got extra... What's that? Job payout? Yeah, we've done just enough to boost our, our reputation with them, but I think if we can get them maxed out, that would be... Oh, wait a second. Maybe that's as good as we can get. All right. Well, as long as we balance our reputation and don't drop more than five with them, we can bounce back and forth. So that will free us up for a few things. So let's go to the mech bay. We're going to go ahead and sell off those excess mechs. Yeah, the Black Knight. We don't need you anymore. Store you. And same with the Archer. We'll get rid of you. Ah, uh, yes, that would be fun. Okay. Why are we filling up all of our mech bays? But I think we're doing okay. Alright. Back to the store. Let's go ahead and sell off the Archer. 700,000 and almost 800,000 for the Black Knight. This is why we go for the tonnage. And I think we'll keep everything else that we have. Yes. Actually, the, um, the other day I was having trouble figuring out why I didn't have range with an AC-20. And yes, the range is standard. And as you slowly move down, they go to long and then very long. And then finally with the AC-2s with extreme. But yeah, I did not notice that as we went up in uh, caliber, we sort of uh, went uh, down in range. But I guess that does make sense. Uh, so from here, let's check out what contracts we have left. Uh, we have seven against the pirates. That's not ideal. That's just a little bit too much. And same once again. So I guess we're not going to take either of those. Oh, save a prototype. Oh, that sounds interesting. Uh, of a research facility here in the Brigham system. At the last moment, when all was lost, a convoy managed to escape with an extremely valuable prototype. Hmm. That is in the jungle, four and a half. That could be doable. Uh, some pretty good salvage as well. And then over here we have Brigham as well for a battle uh, against the Torians. Okay, who is... Yeah, so Torians in Augurin Directorate. And then of course there is Smithen. Hmm. Well, you know what? We're going to quickly go ahead and check out the star map. We should at least see where we're going and what we need to do. Okay, so. We're in a pretty good spot as things stand. We could fly across here, but that'll take us through where we have a contract anyway. So I suppose we pick up the contract. It is only the logical way to do this. So, well, we're going to pick that up. Uh, we're going to go... Which one do we wish for? I think we'll go... I am tempted for the maximum salvage one here. We haven't done a four and a half. It is in the jungle, which is rather nice. So a little bit of extra cooling. 
or we go for a battle in the lowlands. You know what? I don't think we've, uh, yeah, we haven't done an escort mission for a while. Uh, I think we'll do that second. We're going to go in for a battle. Yeah, we're going to negotiate. Yeah, we're going to go for the battle first and then we'll go for the convoy run. Uh, we'll pick up as much salvage as possible. That would be nice. Roger that, we'll Commander. accept that. Course plotted. Now we can get flying once again. All right. Also, too, the bonuses is uh, we had on the star map, we saw that Brigham has a black market, which is particularly nice. Yeah, that will be uh, very good indeed. That'll uh, certainly, uh, hopefully, I should say, hopefully provide us with some nice weapons to chuck on to some of our mechs or just general upgrades. That work order is complete, boss. All right, so. Top not to work, if I may say so. Drive is finished. Let's check out the Argo's final. Yeah, we're up to the final upgrade. Here we are, a low G pool. Yeah, finish it off with a pool party. I think that seems rather good. Let's go ahead and purchase that. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. Not even half a million sea bills. Well and truly worth it to me. And uh, yeah, we can keep on going. Still got plenty of cash for our financial report. That'll be fine. In fact, uh, selling off. What was it? Just the Black Knight alone pays for an entire month. So, yeah, salvage is certainly worth it. Although, come to think about it, we could pull a little bit of a tricky on the game. We're about to, yeah, the pool is finished in 18 days. Me, what we could do is, because we know we're going to get a guaranteed plus two to our morale, maybe we pay everybody slightly less? Save a little bit of cash. It's only 150 grand, but we've never done it before. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna... We're going to cheap on out, because we've spent an extra 400 grand for the extra morale modifier. So, yeah, we're going to see if that works that way. Yeah, we're going to accept that. Uh, we're still right within that top tier, so it's not going to affect our resolute status. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, and in uh, 15 days, we'll get our full upgrade. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, so we're finally, finally here. Let's not quite pick that up just yet. We're going to go straight to the store. We want to see what we want to get our hands on. All right, uh, basic weapons, some arm mods, some nice, yeah, 40 damage. That's not too bad. Uh, gyros for stability. A leg mod for minus 20 DFA self damage. Be worth putting in a Highlander. Because you do take a fair bit of damage with that. Yeah, you know what? That's only 27,000. You know what? Actually, hang on a second. Let's check out the black market. But we'll come back to those leg mods otherwise. Uh, they have an Annihilator. No biggie there. Uh, an Atlas regular. Same with the awesome. A couple of Banshee options. Nothing too crazy. Regular Battle Master. We've got some crabs, Cyclopses. Battle Computer. Hmm. One of those. Oh, that's right. Initiative. Yeah, that could be rather cool to have at some point. A Cyclops. Hopefully we come across one in battle. That would be really nice. Right. You know what? We have better uh, ER lasers here. So you know what? I think that's probably going to be picked up. Uh, an extra minus two tons for the Gauss Rifle, that... Yeah, we could go for an Annihilator build there, especially if we've got all of the extra tonnage saved. That could be pretty cool. Now that's four million sea bills. Ah, uh, Snubnose PPCs, not bad. Exchanger, we've picked up a couple of those. And of course, Gauss Rifle ammo. Okay, well... For now, I think we will hold off on whatever is there, and we'll do some more work before, we'll, yeah, we'll take up as much money as possible, and yeah, sorry, earn as much money as possible, so we can see what we can afford, and then make decisions from there before moving on to our, to our, uh, what do we call it, final, uh, oh, sorry, our next story mission. So we have, what else have we got, Orions, Pirates. Uh, 
Orgrins. Spam again. And pirates. Okay. But we're not going to anger those pirates. We want the bonuses to the, uh, to the black market discounts. So I think we'll come back and we'll do our mission that we've already agreed to. And then maybe we'll even squeeze in a couple on the next one. I think that's pretty good. But for now, I think this is where we're going to leave things. So if you do want to see that episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That's the best way to catch all future content. And I will see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to The Leviathan Cove. This is The Leviathan, signing out.